Hello everyone, GameShark here and welcome back to another Stardew Valley video. Today I will be showing you the best crops to place into the kegs to produce either wine or juice which will turn over the most gold profit per day. This formula can be calculated by using the sell price of the artisan good, taking away the sell price of the input produce and then dividing the total value by the processing time. I will split this video down into three categories, wine, juice and then other. I will show you the top four most profitable crop to use in each category. A keg can produce wine if using fruit as the input or juice using vegetables. But you can also create other items such as beer by using other produce. Just bear in mind that these values do not take into account with the effects of tiller or artisan professions which reduce and increase the profit from a keg respectively. I am also using the normal base value of the crops which will give you the highest amount of profit. So let's get straight into the best vegetables to place into kegs to produce the most profitable juice. Now a keg will take 6,000 minutes in game to turn the veg into the juice. And the fourth best vegetable to use and place into the kegs are the tomatoes. Tomato juice will more than double the value of the crop, giving you a decent 18.9 gold profit per day. The third best vegetable to use in kegs are the artichokes. Artichoke juice will give you a good 23.5 gold profit per day. Moving on to the second best vegetable to place into the kegs are the red cabbages. Red cabbage juice will give you a big 32.3 gold profit per day. And now, the best and number one vegetable to produce into the juice are the pumpkins. This was very close to the red cabbage by a fraction, but pumpkin juice gives you a 32.6 gold profit per day, nearly joined with the red cabbage juice. So, that is the juice cupboard. They are the top four best vegetable crops to use and place into the kegs. Now let's see which is the best wine to produce in Stardew Valley. Okay, so wine will take a total of 10,000 minutes in game to produce from the keg. So 4,000 more minutes than the juice. And the fourth best fruit to place into a keg is the crystal fruit. This will be a big surprise for most of you, but crystal fruit wine will actually give you a big 64.2 gold profit per day. The third position is actually a joint battle. The peach and the pomegranate are both in third place as both of the wine will give you the exact same figure, 70 gold profit per day. Because their crop value and the wine value and the production time are the exact same. And the second best fruit to place into the keg is the star fruit. 
Starfruit wine can give you a huge 105.2 gold profit per day. Definitely one of the best artisan items to create. But in first place, the best fruit and the best wine in the game is of course the ancient fruit. You all knew this, even after the update where they decreased the value of an ancient fruit from 750 gold to 550 gold, it still is the best fruit to turn into wine, giving you a huge total of 185 gold profit per day. Very impressive. But now, we are going to move on to the other artisan items that you can make from the kegs. There are four more products you can make in a keg and I will put them in order from worst to best. And starting with the fourth product is beer. Placing wheat into the keg will make beer, taking 2250 in-game minutes to make and giving you a small 38 gold profit per day. Still a good product to make, giving the wheat an actual meaning in the game. But the third best product to make is pale ale. This can be made by placing the vegetable hops into the keg, taking 2360 minutes in the game and giving you a big 116 gold profit per day. So the second best product to make is mead. This can be produced by placing wild honey into the keg, taking only 600 minutes in game to make, which makes this such a valuable item because of how short it takes to produce, giving you a huge 281 gold profit per day. But bear in mind that is only with the basic wild honey. If you use special flower honey, such as fairy rose, this will give you a negative profit value per day as it will decrease the value. Now, the first and best product to make other than wine or juice is coffee. Are you surprised? Well, actually this is the best item to make in a keg out of every other item. It's absolutely smashing the ancient fruit wine. Coffee is made by placing 5 coffee beans into the keg and it only takes 120 minutes in game to make, giving you lots of harvests of coffee per day which will give you an insanely huge, overwhelming 1050 gold profit per day. That's just insane. So there you have it guys, the best produce to place into kegs to create the most profitable and valuable products. Now you know to create as much coffee as you can for the ultimate profit. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a good idea of what to place into the kegs in the future. If you found it useful please hit that like button and give me some feedback in the comments below and if you haven't already. Go and follow me on Twitter, I am going on a spree and following every single one of you back from now. But until then, I will end this here, and I'll see you lovely people on the next one. Stay safe, stay awesome, and peace.